He promised he'd sort the BHS pension problem and eight months on he has done. Although it's cost Sir Philip Green £363 million, most of this money he'll never see again. It's a large sum, but less than the regulator initially demanded. The chief executive insists it's a good deal. We have a robust uh, settlement here, which, as I've said, has, is right in both terms you of held money his and feet structure. To the fire, did you? Well, we have negotiated robustly. Did you settle for less because you took the view that the legal case against Sir Philip was actually quite weak? No, we believe we had a, had a strong case uh, and uh, we would have pursued it if necessary. But in the end, we are faced with a situation where there's an offer on the table. You negotiate around that, you try and get the offer to be as good as it can be, and then you have to make a choice. The BHS pension schemes have 19,000 members. The pensions regulator expects almost half of them to choose to walk away with cash lump sums. The rest will end up in a new standalone pension scheme. They'll receive the same starting pension as they were originally promised by BHS. The threat of a 10% reduction for those yet to retire has gone, but future income will be less generous than the original scheme. I think most of the 20,000 pension scheme members will be there or thereabouts. They'll be worse off than they were expecting, but slightly better off than if they'd gone into the Pension Protection Fund. BHS finally closed its doors last summer. It's taken a long time for Sir Philip to agree this settlement. Michael Williams has a BHS pension. He worked for the retailer for more than 30 years and he's pleased that at least now he has some certainty. I retired expecting a full pension, I guess. Now, the fact of the matter is now I'm not going to get that. My wife's not going to get what she expected when I depart from this world. Um, and the inflation increases won't be as generous. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit upset that, that, that I've not got what I paid for. Um, but at the end of the day, as I said earlier, it's a compromise. It was never my intention for the business to have the ending it did. Sir Philip Green apologised to staff and pensioners in an interview with ITV News three months ago. He did so again today. In a statement, he said, I hope that this solution puts their minds at rest and closes this sorry chapter for them. He signed it, Sir Philip Green. It's not yet clear he's done enough to save his knighthood. Joel Hills, ITV News.